Hey guys, Mark here with the first episode of this new series, Road to 100 Dark Sets. As you can see, I already have 10 Dark Sets. Obviously, I didn't PK those already. Uh, those are the ones I bought before. So I will start with 10 Dark Sets, and I will need to end up with 100 broken Dark Sets basically for the series to be done. And I know you'll be like, oh, you only bought 10 Dark Sets, so you actually think you will end up with a 110 ratio, you crazy motherfucker? No, <laughs> I just bought 10. And. I guess every time I lose tens, I'll I'll buy a new ten. I'm expecting this to take around thirty to forty Dirac sets. That would be the goal. Doesn't mean I'll actually achieve it. I might actually beat it. I guess we'll see. But if I make a pre vid, I guess intro for this, this will be the only time I will uh, make a vid before showing clips, because it's the first episode, obviously. But especially to to, to tell you guys that. Not only do I want to show 100 dark sets and how many deaths I got, how many kills, I'll show, I also want to show you guys um, how much it cost me in expenses, such as brews, restores, supersets, prayer pots, sharks, and crown ones. As, um, yes, 100 dark sets will sell for 200 million if they stay at 2 million each, which is the price as we speak. But if I use, say, I use uh, 250 of those brews, well, that does add up quickly. So yeah, I calculate exactly how many dose of brews, restores, and supersets, all those potions. And on this account, I will only be doing dark peaking when I'm online. So I won't be using any of those supplies for anything other than dark peaking. So you would actually see exactly how many supplies I use for to actually gain those 100 dark sets. And obviously, uh, when you kill someone in dark, you actually get it broken. And I believe for me, it's around 230k. Three pair full set. So right off the bat, you can subs subtract 23 million just to repair my sets. But I guess also you, at the end, I should end up with around 90 D boots. Uh, if 10 people actually risk clumped boots like fags, that happens. You never know. But yeah, this will add up being uh, 100k each. That's 10 mil. We're almost uh, 10 mil. So yeah, I guess all we need to do now is actually kill people and show the clips. So hope you enjoy and. Uh, Enjoy, yep. Yeah.
what's left is right Chasing stars and holding view I can't see the end, but we'll see it through No, it just happened. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, he had jack shit, but still. <laughs> like, literally the whole fight it was he raping me, and then all of a sudden he just died. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's too much for me. Oh my god. Whatever. Hopefully you enjoyed that bonus slip as much as I did. I thought it was pretty funny. But now about the episode 1. As you can see on the screen, we have 7 kills and no deaths. So it was a pretty good episode, but as much as I hate to admit it, it could have been easy 5 kills and 2 deaths. Uh, especially with the 2 last fights, the, the, the 2 kills I could have easily died, the 1 HP risk. Uh, yeah, I was pretty pretty lucky. So I'm not saying I'm pro for having 7 and 0, because the lock factor was really huge in those 7 kills. But I'm pretty happy. I couldn't have hoped for a better start for this series. So episode 1 is going pretty well. Hopefully we'll keep it up. And yes, as you can see um, here, I have three lines of direct sets. Those are my nine. Plus this one is 100. Obviously I'm using it, so it's not stacking with those. And I didn't die once in this episode. So pretty good start. And will I die? Well, you'll have to see in episode 2. <laughs> I'm assuming I'll probably die in episode 2. Hopefully not. But yeah. For now, 7-0, and, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.